Well, just you get to the editing room and you try to take out the bad stuff, and hopefully you're left with enough stuff that you're okay with that it adds up um, to make a story. Um, that was for the show, but um, um, narrative. I don't know. Um, we did. I don't. I think we're just uh, trying to tell a love story between these guys. And we had a lot of scenes that, that weren't about that. We just took them out, and there, for whatever the narrative ended up being, we just ended up being driven by these two guys and their their love for each other. I I actually did both of the performances. I acted it out, and they copied me. I'll answer for them. <laughs> um, he is feral. That's a great word. And, um, you should, you should speak to it. Oh, I mean, I, 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 um, yeah. okay. um, <laughs> Paul gives you, gives you a lot of leeway. I mean, I think that's where we're doing all joking around, but it's just Paul gives you a lot of leeway. I mean, it, it, he wants, I think he falls a fan of uh, what, what an actor does. I think he respects it. And, uh, and I think he wants you to be responsible for it, you know? And it's, so it's a, it's a lot, it's, a, it's an ongoing conversation from the beginning you meet about it to the end of the, the film, you know? I mean, I think he's still talking about it. You know, it's like, and you guys are watching it, you know? And uh, that's, that's the pleasure of the conversation and the camaraderie over the conversation. But the leeway that, you know, we have is, is up to us, you know. Um, and hopefully it's, it doesn't go out of the boundaries of what is being discussed or, or what is, uh, Paul has written or has in his imagination, you know. But I think uh, Paul welcomes the, the new thing. I think anybody who's intelligent or has talent understands that where things are going to come from a lot of different places. And so, Hopefully some of those things will come from the actors, but yeah, he's not, I don't think Paul's somebody who boxes you in or anything. Paul has, has described the, the, um, the film as a love story between Freddie and Lancaster Dog. I'd like to ask both uh, Philip and Joachim what it is of uh, Freddie that seduces uh, Lancaster Dog, and what is it of Lancaster Dog that seduces Freddie? Uh, I'm not sure if I understood
ends up being very a kind of bottomless pit that you can keep going back to maybe who provides good stuff, provides good stuff. Yeah, the role of wife. Well, we just talked about this before. Is she the master? I mean, I, I think you may, yeah, I think, sure. Yeah, she is. <laughs> um, but I don't know. Um, it, it goes back and forth, I suppose, like any relationship, right? Who's on top? Who's on your own? I don't know. That's a dance that goes on between you know, in a relationship. Who's the master? I don't know. Uh, the thing about the father, I, you know, it was not uh, shouldn't be read into it too much. I just uh, there was an old guy and we were shooting a bunch of games, and Freddie sat down next to him and. Said he looked like my father. We didn't know. Um, we just knew we had to, we, somebody had to die from the booze. We just picked somebody that looked good. And, um, that day we had a big picnic set up. And we were, the light was going down. Honestly, and he looked great. This old this old guy. So we just walked up and started talking to him. That, that's where that came from. Um, I'm sorry he had to die. I looked on IMDb. He was died like a hundred times in the ER. That old guy. So. <laughs> We thought we were the first to kill him, but it turns out we played a corpse a number of times.